Hi guys, this is my first video where you can see my talking head. Uh, nice to meet you, welcome and enjoy. Uh, today I want to tell you about five reasons why you should start learning programming right now. First and foremost, programming can be a well-paying job, but today I want to focus less on that because for me programming is just a hobby right now and I'm not working for any company. If you are considering programming just for the money and you don't really enjoy it, it's unlikely to work out. Uh, firstly, make sure you genuinely like programming and find pleasure in the process of creating something, whether it's front-end or back-end work. And if you are sure that programming is your thing, then we can move on to the first point. You probably know that nowadays uh, programming is used in almost every part of the IT industry. Even if you are not a fan of making websites, programming is still everywhere in our daily lives. Whether it's creating apps for PCs or phones, uh, working on video games, building robots or making progress in artificial intelligence. It's all about programming. Plus, if you like coding, there are lots of cool things you can explore like data science, cybersecurity, etc. Technology keeps changing, so there's always something new and interesting happening. If you enjoy coding, there are so many exciting paths to discover and be a part of this ever-growing tech world. And it's just really interesting. The Visual Studio is like a canvas for an artist where every line of code is a stroke of paint. And when the strokes come together into a complete picture, it's an incredible feeling, just believe me. In my case, I love front-end and I love making videos. So that's, that's how this channel came about. As Steve Jobs said, everyone should start learning programming because programming uh, teaches us how to think. And it's true. Many people mistakenly believe that you need to be good at math to teach programming. This is also true, but only in a narrow sense. Basically, you need to be a logical thinker and understand the principle of the technology. For example, if you want to learn JavaScript, it's not enough just to memorize the syntax of this language. Uh, you need to understand the whole logic of this language. Uh, yes. It will be difficult and confusing at first, but that's the whole point. You develop the ability to think logically and not to memorize theory, but to understand the logic of language in practice. In fact, the logic of all programming languages is very similar, and if you learn at least one of them, it will be much easier to learn other languages. That's why the problem of choosing a language doesn't exist. For, for example, if you learn uh, C-sharp and you don't like it, it will be much easier to learn uh, Java or another language. If you write code, you will often encounter problems. They can be bugs or simply a lack of uh, knowledge about how to continue writing code. And it's uh, these problems that teach us how to find solutions. You will rewrite the code, search for answer on Google. Sometimes it may take you a long time to find answer, but after you fix a bug, you will feel like a programming god, even if you are just a student. The most important thing is not to set up tasks that are three levels higher than your knowledge. You have to learn step by step. And if you want to learn uh, front-end, you don't need to start with the React.js right away. First, learn the basic technologies like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, because modern frameworks and libraries uh, are built on top of it. Every day you will be fixing bugs and errors and you will notice your own progress. This will help you not only in programming, but also in real life. This is probably the most important point for many people. The bonus of a good salary is that, that you can work anywhere. You can work from home. You, you want to take your laptop with you on a trip and work that way, whether it's in a coffee shop or by the pool, sipping delicious cocktails. It gives you a lot of freedom and you're not tied to one place. However, I can tell you from my personal experience that I can't work for away from my desk. I need to be able to concentrate in peace and quiet, but people are different and there are so many people who work away from home on a regular basis. But there are so many people who like to work from the office, who like to communicate life with the people 
and you will have that opportunity. The point is that in IT you choose how and where you work. You can work in the office, you can work from home, you can travel and often there is a flexible work schedule which is uh, when there is not a clearly defined period of time when you have to sit at a computer and write code. You just have a deadline for a task and it's up to you to decide how to spend your time. This is the final point of this video. There are a lot of people in our world who love programming. This means that they will always have someone to turn to for advice. My channel alone has more than 40,000 subscribers. Thank you so much, guys. And my channel is not the only one. The community is really big. A lot of people want to develop in this direction. So you can be sure that you can always find answers to your questions. You can find programming friends and improve your skills every day. Well, folks, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, uh, subscribe to my channel. Um, there is a lot of cutting going on. And don't forget to like this video. Thank you. See you soon.